This book is called Maria the Matador by Anne Lambelet. Maria loved lots of things. She loved tea parties and dancing and wearing her hair in pigtails. But more than anything in the world, Maria loved churros. She couldn't see a churro without needing a taste. She couldn't taste a churro without having to finish it. And she could never finish one churro without wanting more churros. So when she saw a poster advertising a bullfight, she knew that the grand prize had to be hers. She'd never be left wanting more churros again. This says, lifetime supply of churros to the matador longest in the arena. But Maria was one of the smallest little girls in all of Spain. She wasn't fast enough to outrun the bull. She wasn't strong enough to intimidate the bull. She wasn't big enough to overpower the bull. If she couldn't fight the bull, then how could she possibly win a bullfight? If only there was someone she could turn to for advice. When Maria joined the other matadors on the big day, none of them could believe their eyes. You cannot possibly be fast enough to fight the bull, said the fastest matador. You cannot possibly be strong enough, said the strongest. You cannot possibly be big enough, said the biggest. You should just give up now, they all agreed. There is no way such a little girl could ever fight such an enormous bull. Maria tried her best to ignore them and to think only of the promise of her beloved churros. But the more they all laughed at her, the more worried she became. Then the bullfight began, and one by one, each of the matadors took their turn. The bull was faster than the fastest matador, stronger than the strongest matador, and even bigger than the biggest matador. One by one, they faced the bull, and one by one, they were defeated. Finally, Maria entered the ring. In the center of the arena waited the most ferocious looking bull she had ever seen. But she marched up to him anyway, picturing churros for courage, and asked the bull to dance. After years of being battered and bullied by every matador he'd ever met, the bull's heart was so warmed by the little girl's request that he couldn't help but say yes. As they took their bows, the crowd burst into thunderous applause. And Maria and her new friend gratefully accepted their prize.
Thank you.